What's up guys? This is X Elite Ninja here. Today I'm going to give you a tutorial for Pokemon on how to put that um, black and white on your Android cell phone, Xperia, anything. If you, have, if you have an Android, you can play this basically. So the first thing you want to do is you want to download an app called Kaney. And it's a remote gaming desktop app. You want to download that, go to the marketplace. Um, I think it's like $2.99, but if you're, you're smart, you can get the crack version for free. And um, after you install that, the next step you want to do is go on to your home computer or laptop or whatever it is you have that you're running. Download Kaney and uh, go ahead and open that up. Um, click on the settings tab, on the network tab, and then all the information you will need right there will be there for you to view. So then the next thing you want to do is open up Kaney on your phone. So once this loads up, you'll come with three empty spaces. It'll ask you something to connect to or edit or whatever. You've got to put in the server name and your Kaney ID, your local IP address, internet IP address, and the password that, this, that um, Kaney provides you with under the settings tab. So um, let's go ahead and configure that real quick and get it set up. Okay, now once you get it set up, you should be able to connect to your computer. As you can tell, I got my computer connected to each other right here, whatever. I control it with my phone now. So, like I said, this is a remote gaming desktop app. So any games you have on your desktop or on your computer, you can just play them from here. Um, once you get that set up, I'm going to give you a link in the description that's going to be to Pokemon Black or Pokemon White, or whatever it is that, whichever game you want to play, you know, I'll put both of them in there. You go download it there to your laptop at home. Once you get it on your laptop at home, you want to download Desmune, and um, any version of Desmune is fine. Set it up to be for the keys for your controller on Kaney. How you do this is you'll go ahead, click on connect, go ahead and connect to your laptop, press the menu button, Go to settings, go all the way down, scroll past all this, and click on track mapping, track and display map, mapping when pressed. So you click on that, and then you map all your buttons to your keyboard controls for Pokemon on Desmume. So like when I press up, as you can see, like it pops up with the debug mapping that I pressed. So I, I registered that to be default. Um, I've got like X registered as S, I've got circle registered as D, square registered as W, and, or I mean A, and triangle registered as W. So after I did all that, go ahead and um, back out of this and uncheck that track mapping button right there. Go back to um, the regular Candy app and you should be ready to play um, Pokemon. Whatever you map your, your controls to be on here are the keys that will be pressed on your keyboard. So you open up Pokemon, and after you get the after you get Desmium open, you know go ahead and open your ROM or whatever with Pokemon. Um, you want to go ahead and go to Config and make sure that all your control on the Control Config, you make sure that all of your your controls are mapped. So you like right here it tells me to press up. You go ahead and press up, left, down, right, um, B A Y square. Start, select, L, R. And that's it. And then you exit out of this. Go ahead and close out. And open up the game it is that you want to play. Pokemon, in this case. I'm going to slide up to, to add the full screen. And you go tap the screen with four fingers. And you um, click on the second option. Mouse, click, drag, and move. So when you click on it, it'll the mouse will be whatever you touch with your finger. So when you first start candy, it should have three buttons right here. Sorry, that's the sound coming out of my laptop. Um, but yeah, like I said, once you first start candy, there should be three buttons on the bottom. And this should be right there. You click on the one that looks like both buttons are pressed. The right and left buttons are pressed. 
and then when you touch the screen from now on it will register wherever you touch it with so look as you can tell all the buttons on here work correct and all that it is pretty good speed I'm running this off 3G right now and this is Pokemon Black too now as far as the C gear communications and stuff like that and DS wireless working with um, your phone that's not gonna happen unless you have your home computer with you or you're near your home computer but you can get on Wi-Fi and stuff like that so as you can see Pokemon is working at 100% speed as you can tell touchscreen works and all that all this works you know save options everything Go ahead and exit out of that. And that's how you put Kaney on um on your your phone. And that's how you play Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. You also can play games like Skyrim. Um anything else you have on your on your laptop you can play as long as you map it to your on screen controls and all that. Kaney also has a um cool little feature where if you press three fingers on the screen, you can click add and you can add other buttons from your keyboard on screen for like touch screen. So you can customize all the um, controls and such like that to work any, any way that you want them to. But yeah, try it out people. Here's your tutorial. You don't have to ask anymore. Just let me know any other videos you might need. Um, but like I said, like these are my settings for Kaney. And of course I use it to play Pokemon. Pokemon is the shit. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. Pokemon is the shit. And I'll beat anybody's ass that don't like it. Fuck that shit. Pokemon is the shit. You better play that shit. Think I'm playing Pokemon. Anyways, that's it. Excellent Ninja. Follow me on YouTube and Twitter and all that. Facebook, Ninja underscore underscore 3X. Peace, bitches.